Hello, this video is on the sign rule, as shown here in the syllabus. Questions involving the sign rule may involve the use of bearings. The formula for the sign rule is given on page 6 of your formula booklet. If a triangle is not right angled, then you cannot use right angled triangle trigonometry, that's the so Katoa ratios, or Pythagoras' theorem to calculate lengths and angles. However, you can use the sine rule. In a triangle, A is the side opposite angle A, B is the side opposite angle B, and C is the side opposite angle C. Sides and angles are labelled according to their position. A side length and the angle opposite that side are paired together. The sine rule states that the ratio of a side length of a triangle to the sine of the angle opposite that side is constant. This means that A divided by sine A is equal to B divided by sine B is equal to C divided by sine C. You will only need to use two of these ratios at any one time. When performing trigonometric calculations on your calculator, make sure that your calculator is set to degrees. To do this, from the main menu, select Run Matrix, then press Shift Menu to access Setup, scroll down to the Angle option and press F1 for degrees, then press Execute. In this example, the sine rule can be used to calculate the length of side A. To calculate the length of a side, you must know the angle that pairs with the side and another pair of side and angle. You can use solver on your calculator to solve the equation. From the main menu, select Equation and press F3, Solver. Type in the equation. So press in a fraction button and press in the X variable to represent A. Scroll in down and press in the sign button followed by 60. Press in the right cursor to come back up. Press in Shift to access equals. The fraction button again. 12 for the numerator scrolling down and pressing the sign button once more and entering 40. Pressing execute to enter the equation and F6 to solve the equation. The length of side A is 16.2 centimeters, correct to three significant figures. In this example, the sign rule can be used to calculate the size of angle C. To calculate the size of an angle, you must know the side that pairs with that angle, as well as another pair of side and angle. Again, you can use solver on your calculator to solve the equation. Type in the equation in and press in F6 to solve the equation gives angle C is equal to 25.4 degrees, correct for three significant figures. In this question, to find angle B, first identify that the sine rule can be applied. Both side A and angle A are known, and since side C is given, we can find angle C. Substitute in the values and use solver. From the main menu, select equation, press F3 for solver and type in the equation. Press in the fraction button, 3.2 for the numerator, sine 70 for the denominator, press in shift to access equals, press in the fraction button a second time, 2.6 for the numerator and sign and press in the X variable button to represent C. Press in execute to enter the equation 
and f6 to solve the equation. Write down the value of x, which represents angle C, which is 49.8 degrees, correct to three significant figures. Then use the angle sum of a triangle to subtract angles A and C from 180 degrees to give the value shown. So angle B is equal to 60.2 degrees, correct to three significant figures. In this question, to find the distance between the ship S and port B, start by drawing a diagram. As shown, find angle A, which is 60 degrees, and angle S, which is 78 degrees. Identify that the sine rule can be applied. Since one pair of angle and side are known, and angle A is known, we can find BS, the side opposite angle A. Substitute in the values. Use solver to solve the equation and write down the value of x, which represents BS. So the ship S is 13.5 miles from port B, correct to three significant figures. In this question, to find the distance from C to the shoreline AB, start by identifying distance on the diagram. Let the perpendicular distance from C to AB be x. Then find angle C, which is equal to 73 degrees. Identify that the sine rule can be applied. Since one pair of side and angle are known, and angle A is known, we can find the side opposite angle A, which is BC. Substituting in the values, and then use solver on the calculator. Write down the value of x, which represents BC, correct to three significant figures. So BC is equal to 19.0 meters. Then use right-angled triangle trigonometry to find x. x is opposite the 42 degree angle, and BC is the hypotenuse of the right-angled triangle. Sine is the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse. Substituting in the values and making sure that you use at least a four-figure accurate value of the length BC, you can either rearrange the equation, and if you cover up opposite in the trigonometry triangle, it reminds you that you have to multiply the sine by the hypotenuse to calculate the opposite. Performing the calculation gives the value shown. Alternatively, you can use solver on the calculator to solve the equation. So to do this, press F1, repeat, and scroll up to the equation line and type in the new equation. So pressing the sign button, and then 42, Shift to access equals, then pressing the fraction button, pressing the x variable button for the numerator, and scrolling down and pressing 18.954 for the value of BC in the denominator. Pressing execute to enter the equation, and F6 to solve the equation. And write down the value of x. So the distance from C to the shoreline is 12.7 metres, correct to three significant figures.